Burrito Brothers, and the other played banjo with Lester Flatt, worked with the Dillards, and then went on to become one of the top session musicians in California. And as you will see and hear during tonight's show, they both have a lot in common with another of our guests, Amy Lou Harris. But now, to open tonight's show, would you welcome Chris Hillman and Herb Peterson. <laughs> Catch me from behind. I've been driving myself crazy. Big wheel making up time. Yeah. Like a thief in the night, there's no turning back. Running down the highway, you know I'm ahead of the pack. I can plan out all the state cops from here until the border. I'm running the roadblocks to get back home. Some fool to tell me Calling all the squad cars And lies I say that they're gonna do Man just said pull over That chance when I'm at the wheel The night is crisp Can you see that fist Everybody's after me Chris Hillman and Herb Peterson on tonight's show. Gentlemen, I welcome you back. You guys uh, have had a rather illustrious career. Were you ever members of the hot band? Were you? I was. You were a hot, yes. a hot person. Briefly. <laughs> yeah. Chris? I did uh, the records with Emmy and uh, did some of the road work with her in the, oh, this is, the early <laughs> days. Excuse me. This is Chris Hillman, and this is Herb Peterson. You were on the show together before, weren't you? Yes. About a year ago. Yeah, November. Are you an act together? On and off the stage, right? <laughs> yeah, we are. We're working together a lot now. Uh, you record together? Not yet. We will be recording together in the next few months. Will this be a first? Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 I've worked on his records and he's worked on mine, but never as a duet. So will both of you get equal billing? Yes, this time we will. Chris, do something for me. You were a, you were a member of the Birds and the Burritos, right? Yeah. Now, uh, I want you to give me the evolution, if you will, please. I, and I assume Graham Parsons was the founding father of the Birds. No, uh, actually, I'll give, I'll give it to you. The Birds started in 1965, uh, five guys in Los Angeles. Graham joined in 1968 after a few of the other members had left. We started to do what is were now... You, were, well, all right, let Go me, ahead. let's digress. From, were you one of the five guys? Yeah, I was okay. one of the founding okay. guys. Okay. We started to drift towards a country rock sound in 1968. We came down to Nashville and, and did an album called Sweetheart of the Rodeo. We played the Opry at Ryman, and it uh, wasn't the most successful album back then. It was, it was really hard to break into uh, acceptance with, we were trying to merge the traditional sound with a little more of an of a emphasis on a rhythm section. And uh, this is what, 15 years ago. So mm -hmm. it's nice, I see it now, it's real healthy. I see uh, lots of bands coming out of Nashville now, and country rock is now a term that's pretty common. You know, and back then. Anyway, make a long story short, 
the uh, Brito brothers were an extension of the birds. Graham Parsons and I left in 68 and started this group, the Flying Brito Brothers. All right, did the birds break up at that point? Roger McGuinn continued on with a group called the Birds uh, with four new guys. So now we've got birds and we've got flying burrito yeah, brothers. Yeah, yeah. And that, that rocked along and that went through an evolutionary stage, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Uh, the original flying burrito <clears throat> brothers disbanded in 1970 and uh, there were a few more groups and then there was a pretty successful one called the Burrito Brothers, Gib Gilbo and John Beeland. Uh, last few years I think they're no longer together yeah, they have I think they have just it's an ongoing family yeah they have just yeah. quit though yes they've as stopped burritos yes you know, and there it lies I don't know what's going on all right there. but were uh, were these two uh, they weren't John, original. John and B, uh, John and Gibb were they part of the original group no they weren't somehow they inherited the name but it's all you know it came out of California and we all knew each other it was sort of a a real familiar group of people, so it, it was okay. It, it sort of went on in a country format there. All right, I'm going to take a little break here, my friends, uh, and, and uh, remind you that on tonight's show we have Amy Lou Harris, we have Chris and Herb, we have Jan Howard, and a new singer that I think you'll get a kick out of, Dwight Yoakam. So stay with us for the rest of tonight's National Night. 